Nye Raha, spirit of fealty, awaited the Bergsons somewhere in Berahat. Next portal, take the warriors there. Mary's worry over bringing a child into this harsh world would not prevent John from making bad jokes. He would say, the baby does not seem at all worried, which was exactly what helped her keep calm. Once a lively place of merchants, it was now only a back alley of broken promises and death. Deep in the city of thieves, the path to Anai Raha's halls awaited. Hero exhaled, safe for a moment.
Linda felt a deep sorrow. She saw that her tree, the tree her father had planted the day she was born, had withered and died. Though when she looked upon her grandma, her sadness lessened. Margaret was always a glimmer of light in the darkest of hours. It seemed like Kevin and Lucy discovered the animal pen that Uncle Ben had constructed sooner than they were supposed to. This new level of cooperation between animals of the wild and the Berksons would surely please Rhea.
Sand swept across the land, scraping against the stone of a monument built not from devotion, blood and sweat. Atop it stood Anairaha, with the lost ruler Bushra waiting. The manipulator of the disenfranchised, the leader of rats, with fingers sharp as daggers and a soul lacking its humanity.
was. No one chooses the life of a thief. The crystal was calling the hero back through a path opened anew from the sacred city of Anai Raha, the spirit of wind and weather. The person felt a strange weariness as home beckoned. The chamber groaned and trembled, darkness replacing light. Above, the family waited to eat, comfort replacing vigilance. Placing happiness. One body was taken, but two souls were in need of rescue. <laughs> 